the multiplication properties. In this lesson, you have to learn first the commutative property, second the associative property, third the distributive property. Let's start with the commutative property. It means changing the order of factors doesn't change the product. For example, if you have 2 times 3, it's the same. 3 times 2. Let's explain it. In the commutative property, if you have two sets, the first one, you will break it into three vertical columns. And the second one, you will break it into two horizontal rows. In the first one, 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. It means 2 is repeated 3 times equals 6. And in the second set, you have 3 plus 3 equals 6. That means that 3 is repeated 2 times equals 6. So, 2 times 3 is the same 3 times 2. And the changing the order of factors doesn't change the product. Let's go to the next property. The associative property. It means changing the grouping of factors doesn't change the product. For example, 2 by 5 by 4. We are multiplying 3 digits. But where should we start? We could start with 2 by 5. Also, we could start with 5 by 4. The associative property tells us it doesn't matter which way we do it. We can choose which group of numbers we start to multiply. Let's explain it. 2 by 5 by 4. We will use two ways. In the first one, we will start with 2 by 5. We will group 2 by 5 first. 2 by 5 equals 10. And 10 by 4 equals 40. Let's go to the second way. Here, we will start with 5 by 4. 5 by 4 equals 20. So, 2 by 20 also equal 40. And this was the associative property. It means changing the grouping of factors doesn't change the product. So, if you started with 2 by 5, it's the same if you started with 5 by 4. Ok, let's go to the next property. The distributive property. It means to find the product that we don't know by breaking larger factors into smaller factors. For example, if you have 5 by 14, what should we do? 14 is a large factor. So, we have to break it. Let's break it. Let's see. 5 by 14 will be equal 5 by 10 plus 4. Let's explain it. Here we go. 5 by 14 equal 5 times 10 plus 4. Now we have to multiply 5 by 10 at first, then 5 by 4 to get 5 by 14. 5 by 10 plus 5 by 4. Now, let's do it. Can you multiply 5 by 10? It's so easy. It will be 50. And 5 by 4? It's so easy. It will be 20. Now, you have to add 50 plus 20. It's 70. So, 5 by 14 is 70. So, the distributive property make it easier. When you break 
a large factor, it will be easier to multiply. Now, let's solve this. Complete. Example A. 7 by 5 equal 5 by what? What is this property? It's the first one. It was the commutative property. We know that changing the order of factors doesn't change the product. So, 7 by 5 is the same. 5 by 7. It will be 35. And this called the commutative property. Example B. 3 by 10 by 4 equal space by 10 by 4. Let's search for the third number. Here we have 4 and 4, 10 and 10, and the missing number is 3. What is this property? If you have 3 factors, or you have to multiply 3 digits, it is called what? This property called the associative property. It means changing the grouping of the factors doesn't change the product. So, 3 by 10 equals 30, by 4 equal 120. It is the same. 10 by 4 equal 40, by 3 equal 120. Now, let's go to example C. 4 by 15 equal 4 by 10 plus 4 by what? As you see, you break this 15 into 10 and 5. So, this property called the distributive property. We use this property to break the large factors into smaller factors. It will make the multiplication easier. And this was our lesson. Thank you.